we're all excited to know more about stock market. For today's video we were going to tackle about a book review about stock market. This book review is all about One Up on Wall Street by Peter Lynch. These are the key takeaways from this book. More than 1 million copies have been sold of this seminal book on investing in which legendary mutual fund manager Peter Lynch explains the advantages that average investors have over professionals and how they can use these advantages to achieve financial success. He did not like the most popular or pretty stocks. Instead, he liked good, boring companies that would consistently produce cash flow and grow immensely in the long term. Lynch stated you only have to be right 6 out of 10 times to be successful in the stock market, and a 10-bagger, stock price grows 1000%, can make someone's career. We need to catch up quite often with our investments and check if the reason that we picked them in the first place is still valid and the fundamentals are still correct. Stock prices often move in opposite directions from the fundamentals, but long term, the order and sustainability of profits will prevail. When you buy stock, you are purchasing part ownership in a company, and your investment decisions should be made with a focus solely on the value of the company and its business and not on the movement or price of its stock. That said, you should only buy the stock when the price is supported by the value of the company behind it. The everyday experiences you have with a company should inform your investing decisions. When you like a company's products and everyone else seems to also, that company makes a good target for investigation for a possible investment after you have verified the value of the underlying business. Conversely, if a business seems to be doing great, but you don't like its products or services, and many others agree with you, maybe you should avoid it. The business may be about to tank. Many people think an average individual can't compete against massive and infinitely resourced companies on Wall Street. Lynch rejects this assumption and posits the opposite. The average person has an advantage since she is in constant contact with the everyday representation of a stock's products. The central theme is that if you want to succeed in stocks, you must find your edge. This is a point that many other classics skip over, instead jumping straight into the analytical techniques. Lynch continually emphasizes the importance of thinking for yourself, preferring stocks that have very little analyst coverage from Wall Street or economists. As some wise person once said, if all the economists of the world were laid end to end, it wouldn't be wrong. It's a very refreshing framework for thinking about stocks, and the book is packed with tips and things to look for when examining a company. He discourages you from beating yourself up when you miss an opportunity, like a stock on your watch list that you chose not to buy, only to watch afterward it do well. Regarding somebody else's gains as your losses is not a productive attitude for investing in the stock market. That's all. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned many new things about the stock market. Kindly subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell. Also, follow our Facebook page to learn more about the stock market.